What's going on, YouTube? I got an interesting topic today about business. And this is going to go out to my men out there. One of the biggest assets that you can have in a business when it comes to making decisions is a woman. Now, before we get into that, I, I know some of my subscribers, some of my subscribers look at women differently. You know, some of my subscribers don't really trust women. Some women, some of my subscribers don't have joint accounts. You're in the hookers. You're in what <laughs> you have different views when it comes to women. But what I'm talking about right now, those men out there who have a sound woman, a great individual. I have a great individual. Some men don't. But if you're blessed with a great individual, a woman's insight is great. I don't finalize any business deal or a goal or execute any business idea, right? Unless I clear it with my wife. Not that I need a permission to clean uh, to make a decision when it comes to business because I don't bet the farm in anything. It's just that I just want, my wife can see things that I can't see. Women can see things that men can't, can't see because men sometimes are blinded by ego. Sometimes men have this complex that we don't make mistakes. I am a man and I make great decisions. <laughs> I know this is going to work because I see it in my head it's going to work and it's going to work and I'm a man. You're a woman, stay in a woman's place. You know, I was listening to Dave Ramsey. <clears throat> now Dave Ramsey is a guy that's dibbled and dabbled with real estate, talk show for over 20 years, crazy finance guy. Wife works, I mean, no, it doesn't work. She basically stays at home, takes care of his wife. He said, million dollars idea, whatever it is, he doesn't make a decision unless his wife is involved. For instance, there was a decision he made when he bought a new building, all right? He didn't know if he should buy that building. His wife, and the building I think at that time was worth one point something million dollars. Now that same building is worth six million dollars. His wife said, buy that building because what can happen is, your cust not your customers, but the people who say I'm debt free and things like that can actually visit you at the studio. See, this is before they set up anything. She visualizes. They can visit you here at the studio. They can visit you here and say that they're debt free right here in the studio and see you. And it could be a, uh, you know, a big extravaganza. And right now he's using that idea today. He said anytime he has any idea, any idea or or a million dollar deal or whatever on the table, he brings his wife in and said, I want you to just to look this over. Women are blessed with that intuition. I don't know what it is, but I believe that a woman is your best business partner. I think you should sleep with your business partner. I'm not saying out there, if you got a man as a business partner, whatever, you should go out and sleep. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when it comes to business, you always got to know what's going on behind the closed doors. You know, it's just like, a, it's just like a, to me, having a, another guy or a person as a partner is like having a job. You never know what the meeting's about when you're not there. You never know what the other person is thinking. You're just assuming, you're guessing. And I'm just saying that it's worked for me. I've had, I could go on and on and on about certain mistakes that I could have made. Cause this is how this conversation goes. I'll say, Hey, I'm thinking about this. And this is early when I used to be like, okay, I'll say, Hey, I got a great idea. And I'll tell my wife and then she'll look at me like, I don't think that's going to work. And I would get upset. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I I've thought about this, whatever. I don't think it's going to work. And this is why I don't think that it's going to work. So sometimes I would just leave out of the room and I was like, why she's not, she's not going with my ideas. And all of a sudden I just start thinking, I'm like, She's right. And then there's just sometimes where I say, you, back in the days when I was uh, young and naive and didn't know any better, I would go against her ideas. 
and then it wouldn't work. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to have this macho pride and say, I'm going to prove the way it works. And then I get there and then it doesn't work. And then she's like, and, and it's like, I told you so. I'm just saying, guys, if you're in business, I don't care if your wife doesn't have a degree. She doesn't need a degree. It's just something they have. Run it by your wife. Run it by her and, and make sure that, yeah, I was going to say that this, that's not even an issue. That's my opinion. That's one of the things that's worked for me. That's why I think that my business is successful as it is now and it's continuously growing. And my wife, I would have to say definitely, is a big asset to that happening. So just wanted to share that. Kind of interested to see what you guys are saying about this because I've heard some of your, your uh, conversations about women. But uh, with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please subscribe, tell your friends about us, share the video. And until next time, signing off.